Hello, everyone. So we are going to talk today about one of my personal favorite math concepts, functions. And I like functions a lot because when I first learned them, well, maybe we would say I didn't learn them when I was first exposed to them, I didn't understand them at all. And then I had a teacher explain to me a metaphor, and all of a sudden, it clicked. So my goal today is to share that metaphor with you and so that in future videos, as we keep talking about functions, hopefully this will all make a little more sense to you. And so here's the metaphor. A function is essentially a factory. And we're familiar with factories, right? They make things for us and we, we put something in and they give us something out, right? Maybe it's a factory that runs um, on coal and we put coal into the factory and then the factory does a bunch of invisible things and sure enough, out pops our favorite shoes or we put electricity into our factory and what pops out is, uh, you know, could be phones or could be anything, right? The main purpose of a factory is that we put something in and there's all this magic that happens and then we get something different out. And that is exactly what functions are in math. We put something in, some magic happens, and in this case, we'll get to understand the magic, but something else pops out. And if you understand that idea that you put something in, it gets transformed, it gets changed, and then something else appears, you understand functions. So let's look at the actual syntax here of function notation and see if we can understand how to extend this metaphor of factories to this actual notation. So we see here, right, f of x. We've got an f of x and it equals something. And that's nice, you might be looking at this and say, well, that's a great metaphor. You've been talking a lot about factories, but I don't actually see why this is a factory. So what we wanna to do to understand this as a factory is think about what are we putting in and what are we getting out and what is the magic factory building that's doing the transformation to the thing that we put in to get something new out. And in this case, the X here is essentially representing the input we can replace this x with a number, we could replace it with other things, with other variables, and essentially that's the input. That is, in our metaphor, the coal that we're putting into our factory. Then this f here, with our, with our parentheses, this is the factory itself. This is what's doing the invisible work to change our number, or in the metaphor, our coal, or whatever. It's doing the work to change our thing into something else. And then we have, you know, our equal sign here. And whatever we get out, once we have put in our x and we have had it transformed by our function or our factory, the output, that's like the final product. Those are like the phones we're getting out or the, the laptops, the, the uh, shoes. That is basically how it works. So you can imagine we're doing this in math, not necessarily with coal and shoes, although we could theoretically model that and we could figure out a way of doing that. But we're, for the most part, on most tests, working with numbers, right? We're putting three in, our f of x, our function, our factory, is processing it, is changing it, is, is churning it up and turning it into something different. So maybe seven. And then we could put in a different number. We could put in four. And our, our, our function, our factory, is churning it up, mixing it all around, blending it, and turning it into something else maybe eight. In future videos, we can actually think about what happens if we connect factories with other factories, or you know, we put factories inside factories, or we could create rules to describe what the factories are doing. And we'll do that in other videos. But for now, all we need to think about basically is the idea that a factory is something that we put something in and we get something out. Hi everyone, so Grantly here again. If you have liked this YouTube video, I want to take a second and invite you to check out some of our online courses. So whether you're looking to prepare for the ACT, maybe practice mindfulness or anything else, I'm sure that you're going to be able to find a course here, one of our Granite courses that will help you. The courses are packed with videos, quizzes, articles, fun leaderboard sort of things, 
everything that you would need to achieve everything you want to academically. So I've linked the courses in the description below and feel free to check them out. And I really hope to uh, see you in one of the courses soon. Bye.